Welcome back, disc golf fans. This is the back nine coverage of the final round of the 2020 Finnish National Championships. Again, this is natural born disc golf coverage on Gatekeeper Media's channel, highlighting the beauty of Finnish disc golf. I'm Brian Earhart, joined here with Nate Perkins again, and this has been such a treat to commentate on. Absolutely, Brian. Well said. It has been a treat. Nicholas Antila, three strokes over Jesse Niemannen, five strokes over Vino Mikela, Yane Hirsimaki, such a positive force, 42-year-old, making the lead card final round. And really has been teetering on the edge of a fantastic round. I believe he's hit three or four putts off the top band in the front nine and really has been yeah. throwing some phenomenal shots. Um, this course is a ton of fun, too. Wow. Yes. Lots of elevation, lots of beautiful varied terrain, stone fairways. And we're going to move into the back nine, number 10, 341 feet. Subtle drift to the left, back to the right. We're going to see some slow sidearms and maybe some pop-up uh, backhands from these players. Yeah, double Mando right off the tee. Those late trees kind of form a gap at the end. They're right outside the circle. Oh, what? Sit down. Did that keep moving forward? Oh. That was kind of a magical flight. What a Hit way like to get into the circle. Yeah. <laughs> Hit three different uh, trees and rolled nicely into a nice stump, and he's in circle one. And look at this disc just slowly move right. Oh. <laughs> Brian loves it. The, the, I love it too. Just, just the way that they play the game is just a little bit different over here because I think the courses make them do this. The basket placements are so deliberate. And in the States, you know, you kind of have an idea of where you think baskets should go on a hole. But then in Finland, they take that basket placement and push it back diagonally 15 feet just to make the hole that much different and make the shape that much different. And when I went over there, that was the thing about the design that I, I really loved. And it makes the players do things like this. Just almost got it to pop over. He is going to be about 30 from the basket. Yesse is a forehand master. We're both putting him in the top 10. Absolutely in the top 10 on my list. Potentially top five. And he's going to be about 30, 35 from the basket here. It's just because of the versatility mixed with the power. That's just what's been so impressive to watch. There's that weight on that front foot once again. Wow. I mean, just it, that back foot, the toe is barely on the ground. It's a little bit of follow through. He lifts that back leg up. Mm -hmm. Just wide for Vino. And Niklas has a tester putt to keep pace with Yesse, who just snagged another birdie, narrowing the lead to two strokes. Nicholas hasn't attempted too, too many from this distance in this round. Solid birdie putt there from the straddle stance. Just look at that gallery. Great to see. And that was another thing that I noticed in, in Europe, especially Finland, is the amount of people that come to watch these events that you know aren't huge disc golfers themselves. Just sports fans coming to watch something really special and unique. Hole number 11, 495 feet, as you can see, Nate. Look at the shape of this giant 
subtle pushing dog leg. Yeah, such a unique hole going uphill right off the bat and you have to hit the gap and get on top of this ridge right here. Only 495 feet, but a tight gap. Yane still has the box. Pierce it. Perfect, perfect placement uphill. Little bit flippy of a driver. Threw it nose up a little bit to stable it out and it pushed perfectly to the middle of the fairway. This is another shot shape that Niklas is very solid at. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit better than Yane's. Oh, I was hoping we might see a huge Anheuser forehand. Swinging that left arm. And that pushes through, and that is huge. Another picture-perfect drive in the middle of the fairway. All, all three through the same gap, too. Yeah. Vino a little bit more inside. Oh, but Still pushing worked up out. enough. Yeah, great position for all four of these players. Yeah, that drive is really make or break on this hole. I mean, the second you don't hit that gap, you're on the front side of that cliff yeah. looking directly into the rock and... Yeah, it's a daunting 495. Opting for a little flex sidearm, I believe. I'm sorry, I don't know what this disc he's been forehanding is. I believe it's an MD4. Him and Oscar, you love to throw those MD4s on the forehand approaches. There's a great soft landing from the standstill by Vino. He's going to be parked for birdie. Oh, yes, he really bombed his drive. Check out. That's just an easy harp away. Class is going to tap in for a par. Yese has an opportunity to take a stroke here. And the edge of circle one putting is still causing some stress for Yane. Here is Yese lining up a big putt here. A little bit obstructed. Is it? I can't quite tell. If... Oh, yes. Going to the straddle. Big putt. He knows it. We are down to two strokes. Seven holes to go. As you can see, the beautiful tee shot on hole number 12, 374, downhill flex shot. Nate. Small gap, really tiny gap, Brian, and those trees on the right kind of force the 
forehand, in my opinion, the Anheuser forehand yeah. down. And there's OB all around that basket. As you can see, yes, he's going to be doing what you said here. Just hit this gap on a little bit of angle. Did he get enough? Oh, it's a straight flying disc. Wow. Oh, he did. That... Looked like it was too much hyzer, but it just kept going straight. Might have been a beat up harp, I almost feel like, with how high that elevation is. That is parked. And Vino has to go kind of the, that inside out hyzer flip shot. Stood up on it a little bit, but that disc looks stable. That could be an ace run. No. A little Just bit too much air underneath it. it. It's going to be a long putt coming back for his par. Yane has crunched a flick. That is solid shot. 30 feet. After watching Yesse park this drive, Niklas has given himself a little work here. I am so impressed by all of these clutch 30, 35 footers that Niklas has had to hit to just keep pace with Yesse, who's been putting these drives so close to the basket and putting the pressure on Niklas. And to be so young, hitting these giant putts coming down the stretch, uh, we're going to be hearing from him. Yeah, he's making a career out of this sport for sure, displaying just emotional prowess. I mean, I haven't seen but one display of emotion from Nicholas yeah. <laughs> through this entire final round. And we are witnessing a battle of two future stars, current stars in the game, obviously, but man, I, I am so excited to have them back over for the world championships. That is going to be a golden era event once they can come back to the States. Hole 13, par 3, 335. Again, just riddled with out of bounds. If you push this one too straight, it's OB. Too long out of bounds. If you hyzer off too much. Look at it tucked back in that corner, Brian. Yeah, it's making the players throw another one of those, those classic finish flipping hyzers. Barry Schultz is a very solid U.S. example of somebody who throws this shot really, really well. This one is also blind. Think. It's a little left. Okay. So it's almost like you can play a spike hyzer if you play it to be left of the basket. Did not see that higher hyzer off the tee. Wow, both of them throwing the high hyzer. Maybe a little lower route here from Yane. Yep. Medium hyzer. Matching Nicholas angle. Uh, short. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was. Not sure what happened there. But way short. Love the way that he collects him himself before he tees, just eyeing the disc up. Another just perfect hyzer park job. And yes, he's going to have a putt here.
huge putt. This is a big putt for Yesse right here. He sneaks it in. What a relief. What a relief. He keeps pace. That's four birdies in a row. He's trying so hard to claw back and overcome Niklas's lead, but he is parked. And the lead will still be two strokes with five holes remaining. And I'm wondering if the future of fin Finnish disc golf, this could be the Ricky and Paul battle happening right now. Yeah, absolutely. Number 14, 338 feet, very similar concept. OB, very, very close to the basket. Yes, I going with a forehand. Check up, check up. Oh, and he does. He's gonna get his meter from OB. That's gonna be a circle one putt. Mid-range, dead straight. Such discipline players, angle control masters. That was a putter from Vino. A little bit higher, he would have been absolutely parked, but he is 25. <clears throat> this one looks great. Correcting on Yesse's forehand. Oh, yeah. CTP. Crowd loves it. And we have another putting battle here. It's in, it's on the pole with speed. Oh, yeah. And here's another one of those 30, 35 footers to keep pace. It's low. First blunder of this back nine, really. Just a little quicker. He just didn't <clears throat> quite give himself the time as he, as he drew himself down and over his disc. Yes, he can capitalize. We have a battle, Brian. Look at him. You know, collected Nate, five in a row. We six commentate, in a row? I believe, six in a row. Um, we commentate a lot of disc golf, Nate, and this is a treat to see two young players from a different part of the world having this high level of a battle. I feel like I'm watching two world champions go at it right now. I feel the same way. And we move on to number 15, 341 feet. As you can see, this section of the course loves to have the white staked OB on these kind of tweener here. distances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, putter, mid-range. You might see some driver coming out. This is just all execution. I've really enjoyed the balance of this course here. A lot of tough par fours on the front. A lot of scoring on this back. It's to slow it down. And it oh, totally wow. does. 20 feet from the basket. Beautiful hyzer from Yesse. It's going to be another birdie look. Just a swinging flip up hyzer. And he'll be in circle two looking at the basket with OB right behind it. He might lay up this putt. I would say that I could watch this all day, day Brian, but I kind of already do. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. 
Stallheiser from Yane. And tough spot to putt from. He might have a look. Yeah, you can tell that this green is just guarded. I mean, the gap to actually park the hole is maybe 20 feet across. And then if you hit, you're, you're putting straight at those OB stakes. And Niklas knows Yese is parked. Little left. Oh, but low enough to, to go under the branches there, and he's actually the closest closest of the crew. This is a death putt right here, especially with Vino's pace. He's going to have to stall it. Oh. Yeah, try to throw it a little higher to stall the disc into the basket, and that just didn't pay off for him. And 25 footer through the trees here. Clutch. The battle continues, and now the pressure's on Yese. Okay, it looks like Yese was closer. So this is still a tester distance, about 20. jams it in there hard yeah and there's pure adrenaline pumping through both of these players i'm sure and yes he's got a perfect back nine going and i think jamming that putt into the basket is him just running on pure intensity and I think this is going to be an exciting finish here. We move into 16, 587 foot par four, white staked OB down the right, white staked OB down the left side. Throw it straight, throw it far. And you see that Mando tree forcing the players to finish from left to right. They can't cut off any of that distance out over the out of bounds. And we land on another stone green with a big drop off. We've seen players actually attempt to reach this one in the past. I know Seppo's carded a, an Eagle two on this hole in previous years at the two knee. And that's not a good spot for Yese. That's gonna be a tough angle to get to the basket and coming in with so much hyzer, it brings that stone green in, into account. Yeah, that was a pretty big misfire from Yese. Nicholas taking a deep breath. rips a drive get past okay so he's, he's pin high with the mando right there giving him the angle into the pin pretty much a perfect perfectly executed drive yeah and i think what's interesting about this hole is the more left you are the farther away from the basket you are but the easier the angle is to get into the green High with Heiser out of the hand for Vino. And actually, I like this placement. This looks a lot more subtle of an angle to get to the green. Is that rain, Brian? I do believe. Oh. I think that answers that question. And Yane has thrown a beautiful drive. And this is going to be a huge shot right here in the rain from Yessi. Let's see what he can do. He's got a really tough angle around this Mando. Oh, he's going high with it. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. With the rain and wind. What a story uh, this we are amazing. watching unfold right now. Yeah, he's put the pressure right back on Nicholas. Oh, gets the rock skip. Check up. And I don't know where that went. That looked like it checked up, Brian. And yeah, this is a nail biter. As I'm literally biting my nails <laughs> <laughs> as you say that. 
Yane skips a little bit deep. He's safe. Uh, you can see just how steep it is right behind the pin location here. Let's and see. with those rocks. Let's see what Niklas has. Chip sidearm. Puts it to 15. In the rain and wind, none of these putts are gimmies. No, I and mean, I'm curious who's going to be putting first. I can't, couldn't quite tell. I think that Nicholas might be putting first. I believe I actually saw Yesse was farther out. Okay. But both from about 15, 20. Big moment coming up here. Oh. Yanni just hasn't been able to connect from that distance. That, that pace he's had, great, just hasn't quite got it up and over. Great putt from Vino. Wow. Just Taking his time. Guarding the rain a little bit from that flight plate. And You're here correct. we go. Pure death putt. And you could tell he willed that putt into the basket, and he is fired up. What an up and down. Seven birdies in a row and still cannot take the lead from this man. A tester for Niklas as well. Oh, both of those putts were high, Brian. Both are in. And look, he is just so calm still. I have no idea what's going on inside that young man's head right now. Up one with two to go. And a, and a charging Jesse Niemann with seven birdies in a row has not made a mistake yet. Hole 17, par for the course, 348 feet, white staked OB, turnover to the green. Niklas is going to have to throw some sort of turnover here, whereas this is a hole pretty much set up for the sidearm. So we will see. And actually, it looks like it might be too rainy. It might be too rainy to throw the sidearm. Yeah, potentially too rainy or too 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 much of an angle. Maybe it forces this this Big turnover shot, shot, and that just he just didn't didn't get a hold of it. Um, I see a roller. No. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Oh, that looks so sharp out of his hand. And yeah, you're right. I bl This angle might be just too steep for a forehand to actually push that far right, forcing the players to throw this towering Anheuser. And that's out of Vino's hand looking really good. And that get back to flat. Wow. 30 feet. Okay, now I'm understanding the, the physics of the hole a little bit more. You know, yeah. it's a very steep. Really hard to hit hit one on such a steep angle and get it back to flat while yeah. still flying. And that's got to stable up. Circle two, not too bad. We have two up and down situations for our players that are looking to win this event. And that's what you want in this rain. Time is running out for Yesse.
What a technique from Bino, covering his putter with his body like that. He's going to go straight up into his sharpshooter stance. Big misfire. He saw that slip right out of his hands. It's so tough to to play the same game in wet conditions. Especially being as much of a hingy spin putter as he is. You know, you're so reliant on that release being so pinpoint. It's not like you're shoving the disc at the basket. Your wrist is hinging from side to side. So he's going to take his par. And there's a par for both Yesse and Niklas. And we are going to move into the final hole of the Finnish National Championships one stroke apart. Hole number 18, beautiful water carry, par three, 394 feet. Look at this beautiful hole. Island green, basket on the right side. Perfect finishing hole. So much can happen here. I mean, this is a quick two stroke swing hole right here. Look at the gallery lining up around the OB. Look at the, I mean, Brian. Can we ask for anything more? And the rain picking up with just a few holes to go to add to the drama here. And I'm wondering yes, what the going strategy... To be first to yes. I'm wondering what the strategy is going to be here for these players. Ideally, Niklas wants to just play safe and put the pressure on Jesse, but the problem is Jesse is going first, so he gets to set the pace. He's putting this inside circle one. He has to go for it. And look at the sun coming out. This is the biggest shot of this young man's career thus far. Thus far being the key word. Big backhand. Flattens it out. No. <gasps> sit, sit, sit. No. Oh. oh, and he knows it. I didn't even realize that the out of bounds came before that oh. fence right there. And he is devastated. All Niklas has to do is put it in play, and he is the national champion. So I do believe that Yese takes it from across. Only thing Nicholas can't do is throw it in the water. And he's gone smooth, flat shot. It's coming in soft. <gasps> no, same oh mistake. Oh my gosh. Oh, we have a putt off. And, and Nicholas is further out. What a finishing hole. A 394 foot island that you have to land softly. There's no hay bales to block your shot. I don't think that these, no. Is it Sit in? down. It's in. And I was just about to say, I don't know if there is a way to sit a disc down soft, especially with that grass being it's wet right now. It's just all height. It's all height and throwing as slow of a disc as you can high. Either super steep hyzer or a mm -hmm. putter or mid that can just nestle. Exactly. Because that low trajectory, especially with the rain that just fell, Slides it out the back. Man, oh. this is a nasty finishing hole. So here we go. So I think they do play it from where it went out. Mm hmm I love this guy's attitude, Brian. Very calm seriousness about him. He's always just laughing. And here we go. Okay, Nicholas first to putt. So if he misses and Yessi 
makes. We have a playoff. We're outside the circle here. And you have to go for it. Absolutely have to go for it. Weak side left. Yesse has a putt to take this to a playoff. My heart is racing, Nate. <laughs> Me too, Brian. I'm right there with you, man. This is... What a battle. 35 feet for Yesse. We're going to a playoff. We are going to a playoff for the Finnish National Championships. Two kids. <laughs> like, not to take anything away from them. I'm, I'm, I'm admiring their talent and their fearlessness. We are going to a playoff after Yesse hits one of the most clutch putts I pro he's probably ever hit. That was huge. And Nicholas actually wow. still isn't even in, Brian. I mean, he, he has 14 feet left. Did you know there, there was a playoff? I had no idea. I had idea. no clue. And after seeing this footage, I will be studying a lot more finished disc golf. What a pleasure. Nicholas has gone to this little pitch from this distance. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. The rainbow in the background. I'm curious if they repeat this hole or if they, if they continue over to hole one. Both are treacherous playoff holes. I would love to see them come back to 18, but it could be one like USDGC where they play a series of holes over and over. My instincts tell me that they replay 18. Okay, hole one. Blind, 295. OB everywhere. We saw Nicholas absolutely park this one to open the final round. And we saw Yessi go with that forehand and come up just a little short. I'd say the saving grace of this hole is that pine right in front of the basket is a very solid reference point for the hole being blind. And even if you land underneath that pine, you have 15, 20 feet to the basket. What is this? They're doing a... They just flip? Yep. And I believe that Yesse... Did they tie in the final round or... No, yes, he tracked him down. Interesting. Okay, same disc, same approach. Let's go in forehand. That looks clean. Yeah, just a little bit more juice on it than this. Oh, no. Same distance as the last hole with the OB directly behind him. And this is a hole that this man had absolutely parked to start the round. This is a hole designed for the shots he likes to throw. Yeah, and he's actually going faster than you would expect here. This is a Colton Montgomery Lone Howl PD. Hard hyzer. Does he match it? He, he, identical, identical shot, Brian, to the. I don't, ha <laughs> I don't know what to say. How do you hit the bricks back to back shots on this hole? Blind. To OB push. Everywhere. That, that disc was screaming. This is to push the playoff. 35 feet for Yesse.
Wow. That was one of the best disc golf battles that I have ever witnessed in my life from two young phenoms that will be in this game for a long, long time. Should we help them get to the United States or just watch from afar? <laughs> oh, I, I want to see our worlds collide as soon as possible. Yes. Oh, there's the emotion from the young stud. Wow. Just displayed so much mental fortitude and putting, I think, was the biggest. It was the biggest uh, ticket for him this round. He had to hit so many huge 30 to 35, 40 foot putts to just keep pace with Yese as he kept charging with beautiful tee shots. He was getting up and down from everywhere and he was making his share of big putts as well. What a true professional at 18 years of age. Yeah, uh, as Seppo Paiu had, had once said to me, these young guns in Finland are going to blow your mind in a few years. And I cannot wait for everything to open up again in the States. I, I, I am just so blessed to be able to watch this with you, Nate. This was fantastic. Yeah, I agree, Brian. And I can't wait to return to Finland this year to compete at the European Open once again against these guys right here. And again, thank you to Natural Born Disc Offer for the premium coverage. Beautiful coverage. We should do this more often. Absolutely. And let us know in the comments if you do want us to do more of these finish rounds. And the number one player in Finland, Vino Makila, putting up a good fight. Just a few blunders down the stretch. I am sure he is exhausted right now. Oh, and you can just see right there how, I mean, he's Emerson Keith size. He's not a very big guy by any means. What an inspiration the young kid is. Nate, there you have it. A phenomenal, phenomenal tournament. I I actually don't have that many words. What a battle. Jesse Neiman and Niklas Antila, both kids under the age of 20, I believe, that are going to be in the game for a long, long time. Make sure to subscribe to Natural Born Disc Golfer on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to Gatekeeper Media on YouTube. Again, I'm Brian Earhart, Nate Perkins.